New from the I-Team tonight, the fight over housing. One of Rhode Island's most powerful politicians pushes for more building. But gets pushed back from local leaders willing to fight him on this one, as NBC10 political reporter Brian Crandall tells us. Brian? Yeah, Gina Patrice, some of the changes being proposed at the State House include the state taking a much more active role in creating more housing. But the state's role in loosening up local restrictions is already at the heart of a turf fight, with the House Speaker zeroing in on one town. Changing the old real estate adage of location, location, location. I want to increase three things, production, production, and more production. And we just need to create more inventory. House Speaker Joe Shikarchi has been pushing the housing agenda for a few years now. The status quo is not working. This year, one of his key goals is to ease local restrictions on building accessory dwelling units, in-law apartments. That's a, a big part of the solution. Doesn't cost taxpayers anything, doesn't cost cities and towns anything. If something doesn't happen, we will continue to have high rents, high purchase prices for uh, first time homeowners, and not enough places for people to live. State Representative June Speakman is proposing more legislative changes to increase housing production. Her plans include a so called public developer, where the state buys and develops land for housing. If municipalities won't do it themselves, then the state has to come in and help them do it. So we are going to have to develop more density. That, that's the only way to house people in a state like Rhode Island. And folks are just going to have to get used to this concept that there may be more ho homes in their neighborhood or second floors where there were no second floors or quadplexes. We need the state to step in and directly intervene in a fundamentally broken housing market. We need Daniel Denver is with Reclaim RI, a housing activist group pushing for these housing changes which also included tax on house flippers. If we don't have homes for the working class, then the economy is not going to work, our lives are not going to work, our state is not going to work. So people need to be, get over their, frankly, their bigotry. But in some communities, changes the state made already last year are met with concern. This should be a threat to everybody in this town. In reaction to state changes, Narragansett modified its rules last year to increase the space needed to build. And now town leaders are considering a ban on duplexes in high density parts of town. Discussing the plan last Monday night, again in reaction to new state law. We were so wide reaching. It affected every area and will affect the growth, development, character, and the face of Narragansett from here forward. They're putting up roadblocks. Shikarchi has singled out Narragansett as being obstructionist. Do you think some of these communities are afraid of more people or the kind of people they both think uh, are Clearly coming? both. They won't say that, but I, I, my firm belief, absolutely correct. They don't want those people living in their community. It's nimbyism at its worst. It really is. I say that that's 100% wrong. Narragansett Town Council President Eva Jwierzynski. You know, I think critics look hear the word character of town and hear like we don't want certain people no. or affordable housing or anything yeah. like that. So you don't think that this, that's not that what it was about it. at all. Yeah. Absolutely not. Instead, Dworzynski and other town leaders say their concern is strain on the town's water and sewer infrastructure. We don't know if we can support all this additional housing. And in a town loaded with summer and student rental properties, Narragansett leaders claim the new state laws would only bring more of those. It's not really impacting affordable housing. It's just helping um, developers build bigger houses. Dworzynski says she wants more year-round housing that families and town workers can afford to live in. Unfortunately, um, we do have state leaders who are trying to usurp the municipal and local authority. And she argues the new state laws are written to favor landlords. Now, that in-law apartment bill passed the House a couple months ago, but not yet the Senate. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC10 News.